Hello. Um, I wanted to spend just a few minutes talking about the introduction chapter in the textbook and my uh, slide presentation introduction before we get started. So, the introduction to the textbook, they did a really good job of laying out the origins of photography and especially discussing some of the complexities and not only how photography was developed as a medium, but also some of the complexities and how they work today. Um, what I wanted to do in my introduction was to add a little bit, um, kind of flush that out a little bit and also add a little bit more context. Uh, in addition to that, I think a lot of students in this class will have had a previous photography course before that really covered things like composition, categories of photography, some of the key terminology, and I know that some of you haven't had a course like that that didn't cover those, you know, sort of basics. So I wanted to make sure everyone was more or less on the same page, at least in regards to, you know, the language, the terminology, um, and some of the basic concepts. So especially if you haven't had a photography course in the past, I do want you to spend some time looking through my introduction, um, familiarizing yourself with some of the key terms. Uh, it will really help, I think, later on in understanding where some of the lectures are going, um, not only my lectures, but also some of the textbook chapters and how they're working with some of that knowledge in photography. So, my advice to you, it would be to first read the introductory chapter and then kind of go through my introduction slide lecture, familiarize yourself with the terms. And if you have any questions, they might be answered in the subsequent chapter. If not, you're always welcome to contact me. Um, I'm happy to hear from students.